Well, oh my god, that took for frigging ever. You have no idea what I had to do to get this thing working. Like, oh my god. That powered by Unreal! Oh, and by the way, if it looks different, um... Well... I'll explain okay. once we actually get into it. You can probably already tell, maybe a little bit. But okay. I'm not a very good opera singer. Sue me. Anyway, uh, 2K Australia, 2K Boston, 2K Marin. Oh, what, that chick that only appeared in one episode of Dragon Ball Z abridged? Whoa, I didn't know she had her own company. Anyway, um, Bioshock! Oh my god, I'm playing Bioshock. I already told you I was going to be playing Bioshock, so this isn't surprising at all. So, okay, um, you might be all... You might be able to tell that there's a slight pink, um, thing coming from most white text. I don't know why it does it, but if you can see it, I'm sorry. If it's annoying, I'm sorry, but, um, I have increased the settings. I am no longer doing crappy video settings because it turns out that for a long time, I never even knew this because, um... Here's the thing, with my PS3, I output, like, I can only record a uh, component, because I don't have a capture card that can record HDMI. So, I output with component cables, but for some reason, the PS3 was still outputting a composite signal. So, even though I was using component, it looked bad. So, I tweaked the output settings, and now I'm outputting a very high, or at least, you know, it's... So it's supposed to be a good component signal. Um, the dark gray box. Oh, okay. Uh, okay there. But um, yeah. So it it hopefully will look better now. Uh, it's outputting in widescreen and everything, so everything should hopefully look better. Um. And here we go. Let's see. Easy, you're new to shooters. You've played other shooters. You've played a lot of shooters. Every bullet counts. Nah, I'm just gonna do... I've played other shooters. So, Bioshock! It's awesome! Everybody already knows that. It's cool. And oh my god, Tech It is so much fun! I've never played Tech It before! And I just now started playing Tech It! I only started, like, yesterday! And it's so much fun! I'm gonna have to talk a lot about Tech It. Because it's awesome. 1960, Mid-Atlantic. That's a place where you can really easily see the pink border right there. Or the pink something. They I don't know. Me. It's like a pink shadow. Son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. Oh, no! I wasn't born to do great things, I was born to die in a plane crash? Well, that sucks. Game over already, huh? So how did they know I was in the mid-Atlantic if I was on a plane? How did the game know? Oh, and whoa, the sign rots before our eyes, or it gets nasty or whatever. Yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna keep that up the whole time, I'll get bored. Oh, quick, grab it! Uh, might have gotten out of this with... Whoa! Jeez. We might have gotten out of this jam with a little bit of cash if we just grabbed that string of pearls. But no. <sighs> okay, I can breathe. <clears throat> so, get swimming. It probably doesn't look like I'm swimming, but I'm swimming. Oh! <laughs> oh, hi! What's going on? I'm coming to the White House, yada yada. Oh, and by the way, if you try to swim any other way, the fire, like... Quick, I want to escape! Or, is the fire not going to come this way? Huh, I guess it's not. Oh, well. I don't know, I don't want to run away because it's my destiny to get to this lighthouse. Just like it's Booker's and Elizabeth's. Yeah, this might look familiar. So, yeah. Um... Let's see. God, I do not remember the controls at all. I haven't played this in forever. But oh my god, Tekken is so freaking cool! Oh my god, it's awesome! Let's see. Okay, triangle is jump. Uh, jeez. Friggin' sink already, man. Anyway, let's go in.
No gods or kings, only man! Okay, that's cool. I like man. I am a man. Therefore, I like myself. Okay. Let's go down. Down the stairs. And this is really mellow music. Oh, that's cool. You can still read it from here. I didn't know you could actually still read it from there. Alright, let's go into the bathosphere. Or, oh, X. I thought it was square for a second there. And now we get a cutscene! It's a great cutscene, by the way. It's awesome. Ten fathoms. How far is a fathom? I don't even know. Eighteen fathoms. It can't be a mile, because we've only gone a few... Uh... Okay. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose... Rapture. A city where the artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, Rapture can become your city as well. That is such a cool cutscene. Like, oh my god, I love that. It's basically just like the, uh, you know, the little beauty pass you get of, uh, Columbia in, what's it called? Next slide! Uh, it was not impossible to build Rapture at the bottom of the sea. It was impossible to build it anywhere else. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Well, technically you could have built it every anywhere else, but you would have had to become, like, an autonomous state. Which I doubt they would have let you have in that much land. Happy New Year, 1959! Cool. Oh. Um, Okay. Auto-saving. Yay. Tsh, jeez. I hope I can disable that. That's going to be kind of annoying. Just one more minute. Spear! Spear's coming up now! Johnny, security's banging off all over. Get a move on! I didn't mean no trespass. Just don't hurt me! Just let me go! Just give me my gun! Is it someone new? Damn it, now I can't leave! Oh, I'm gonna have to kill you. I don't know how you survived that plane crash, but I've never been one to question Providence. I'm Atlas, and I aim to keep you alive. Now keep on moving. We're gonna have to get you to higher ground. 
Okay, so hang on just a second here. Um, I need to do subtitles, because I know people will probably want subtitles. Here we go. I've had several people say that they have trouble hearing um, dialogue correctly when um, when there's, like, static along with it. So, yeah, unlock frame rate. Ah, no thanks. Quest arrow, yes. Um, okay, there we go. Take a deep breath and step out of the bathosphere. I won't leave you twisting in the wind. Okay, did the subtitles not work? <clears throat> did they not? Let me see. Yeah, they're still on. Okay, whatever. Ah. We're gonna need to draw out of height, but you're gonna have to trust me. Yeah, yeah, I will. So, this is a Vita chamber. These make the game incredibly cheap and easy, because basically when you die, you just respawn here in a Vita chamber um, with uh, basically just a few, you know, less money, basically. <sighs> Uh, I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> um, where am I going? Oh, right here. Well, geez, everything's friggin' exploding. Uh, let me see. Can I change the... Sorry, I gotta change the... Um, sensitivity if I can. Come on. There, how about that? Uh, no, that's way too much. Um... Let's go back down to, like, 58. Uh, let's see. I'll go to 55 or 54 or something. There we go. That's a little better. All right. Just a bit more of them. How do you like that, sister? Is that your sister? Jeez. <laughs> Would you kindly find a crowbar or something? Bloody splicer. Seal Johnny in before they... Goddamn splicers. Well, aren't you rude? Okay. R2 to swing your wrench. Boom. And you can break stone. Man. Oh, and thank God it's a toggle crouch. Ugh. Oh, uh... Uh, uh. Well. <laughs> that was lucky. Oh my God. Whoa! Jeez! Smack him! Get out of here! Haha! -ha. Okay, so you can search bodies and you get uh, Eve hypos and first aid kits. And you can use circle to heal. So, yeah, very useful. Uh, nothing there. Let's see. Wait, what does it say? One man's vision, mankind's salvation. Huh. Jeez, they built it in 1946. Jeez. Plasmids! And open plasmids. Cool. Because I totally can't read a neon sign. Oh my god. Um, you can search a lot of stuff in this game. You can search like trash cans, crates, um, bodies, you know, anything. Oh, uh, like filing cabinets, safes, stuff like that. You can search a lot of stuff. You can search pretty much every enemy in the game. And you can also uh, eat chips and food off of the uh, off of tables and stuff like that. So... Definitely keep your eyes open. Like, if you're interested in playing this, keep your eyes open and search everything. Um, food will heal you, and it will have no negative effects. However, if you drink stuff like alcohol, it will um, it will heal you, but it'll take away Eve, I believe. Um, another thing is you don't want to get cigarettes. I believe they give you Eve, but they take away health, so that's not good. Anyway, Electro Bolt. Uh, let's go ahead and grab it. Sure, why not? How could this possibly be unsafe? Steady now. Your genetic code is being rewritten. Just hold on and everything will be fine. Oh, come on. This little fish looks like he just had his cherry popped. Wonder if he's still got some Adam on him. Adam. You'd think they would. Yeah. Let's talk weak. You're a weak 
shopper. This little fish ain't worth telling it with no big daddy. Yellow always have been. You'll be no better off with a metal daddy, little fish. See you floating, right? <laughs> Maybe they should put the subtitles a little bit later. Oh, hi. Uh, okay. Um, I already had my colonoscopy. I'm good. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Look, Mr. Bubbles. It's an angel. I can see light coming from his belly. Wait a minute. He's still breathing. It's all right. I know he'll be an angel soon. Well, I mean, if I'm an angel, you're gonna have to get that thing that Uriel used. Oh. You all right, boy? First time plasma's a real kick from a mule. But there's nothing like a fistful of lightning now, is there? Okay, so now I have the ability to shoot lightning. Kaboom. So, oh my god, look at how much Eve that took. It took half my frigging Eve bar. That sucks. Pneumo tube? Nothing. Um, yeah, there's quite a bit here. Let's see. L1, R1. Basically, um... If you've ever played it before, this game is kind of a spiritual successor to, um... System Shock, and System Shock 2, which I have played. And it's awesome, by the way. You should definitely pick it up on Steam. It's really, really good. Um... Uh, it's a, it is a spiritual successor to System Shock, and basically, in that game, you were kind of like a cyborg, and you had, like cybernetic abilities along with like standard combat so in this game you're just a human with you know crazy magic ish powers like i can shoot lightning bolt but it's more science than magic because you know all i did was read uh hey wait is that the plane debris whoa oh come on oh Man, it took you long enough to sink. You only just now got here? Damn. Okay. Anyway. Um. Jeez. Oh, crap. Let's get out of here for the thing, friggin'. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, yeah, that's not good. Um, where am I going? Not that way. Um, how about this way? Quick. Whew. Okay, good. Thank God. Um. But yeah, in this game, you know, you have, like, magic-ish powers, and, um... Alright, here, let's see. Ah, yeah, it does. Okay, so if you drink wine, it takes away your... What's it called? It takes away your Eve, while also healing you. Aw, oh, there's a cat here! Huh, that thing, I think this cat is a uh, taxidermy. Because <laughs> it's not moving at all. The body isn't changing position, but... Uh... Okay, uh, the one-two punch. Alright. Where are they? In here? Okay, wait. One, two, punch! Oh, damn it! That didn't work! <laughs> anyway. Um, if you zap them and then hit them, it does way more damage. Although, that's a huge waste of, um, Eve to actually use that on every one. But here, wait, let's see. Ah, okay, that gives me Eve and takes away health. Something tells me you are a bad person, because <laughs> you're going around killing people. Um, now let me see here. <clears throat> there we go. Stab, give myself some more Eve. Now, whenever you use an Eve hypo, I believe it does give you full Eve back, and I just cannot keep a sentence straight, because I haven't been able to friggin' finish that sentence about, what's it called, System Shock. But yeah, in this game, you get a combination of guns and melee and uh, like magic abilities so yeah you can kind of tend to focus more on magic or you can focus more on fighting so yeah uh, whichever whatever floats your boat it's really really fun this has basically kind of become like a cult classic just like the original system shock was so yeah um so now that we have arrived here in rapture and i talked a little bit about tech it i'm going to talk more about that next time probably um, next time, we're going to advance further into the city. So see you then.